One minute to launch. Soyuz now is on internal power, and we have uh, confirmed auto sequence start. First umbilical tower should be uh, separating shortly. Thirty seconds to launch. Vehicle to internal power. Start. Ground propellant is terminated. Engines should be uh, at flight speed. Three seconds to launch. We have liftoff of the Soyuz rocket with TMA 15M, three new crew members headed to the International Space Station Anton Shkoplerov, Samantha Christopheretti, and Terry Verts on their way to a six month voyage aboard the International Space Station. Everything's stable, good first stage performance so far. The Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter. It's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes, six seconds of the flight. <laughs> And YPR normal. One minute, 10 seconds into flight, traveling about 1,100 miles per hour. We have some G loads. Copy. 80 seconds. One minute, 30 seconds. And all parameters normal on the launch. Vehicle. At about one minute, 50 seconds, the escape tower will be jettisoned. Stage one and stage two are operating nominally. All attitude control system performing uh, uh, perfectly at the two minute mark into the flight. And the first stage has separated, as has the escape tower. The vehicle is uh, traveling more than 4,000 miles per hour at this point. Launch vehicle parameters nominal. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Everything's fine on board, everything nominal. The rocket's altitude is now 48 Rules miles. Feels good. And we have the... And the launch shroud has been jettisoned. One, six, zero seconds. And the thrusters of stage two are operating nominally. All control systems are performing as expected, three minutes into the flight. The Soyuz is now traveling about 4,700 miles per hour. The core stage is performing as expected. It's 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter with a single engine and four fuel chambers, providing uh, about uh, 200,000 pounds of thrust for the next three minutes, 28 seconds of operation. The stage continues to burn until about the four minute, 43 second mark. We have a controlled descent, everything nominal. Astronaut Terry Verts, his first ride aboard a Soyuz spacecraft, giving a thumbs up, headed to the International Space Station for the second time, the first time for him to stay aboard for a long duration period of time. Two, three, zero seconds and stabilization. Four minutes since launch. This 
250 seconds. The Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique. The third stage will actually ignite while the second stage is still burning. That's why the Soyuz has an open area uh, between the second and third stages. 270 seconds. All parameters. Standing by for third stage ignition and second stage shutdown. Second stage separation confirmed and third stage. And the core booster is now separated at an altitude of 105 miles. The Soyuz is now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. This engine providing 67,000 pounds of thrust. It will burn for a little more than four minutes. We can see uh, three, one, and two on the camera. And the crew is feeling well, everything nominal on board. Thank you, copy. We have Anton Shkaplerov, the commander of the Soyuz. Astreas is the uh, crew's call sign. Nominally. Samantha Cristoforetti, her first space flight, uh, and of course, long duration flight to the International Space Station, uh, representing the Italian Space Agency and the European Space Agency aboard the International Space Station. 350 seconds, nominal flight. Approaching six minutes. We have a slight G-load and some shaking and uh, YPR normal. Six minutes, 30 seconds, all continuing to go smoothly. Uh, all smiles from uh, Samantha Christopheretti, seated to the left of the Soyuz commander, Anton Shkaplerov. 400 seconds, and we have stabilization. I'm popping right through the clouds. Awesome. Approaching seven minutes into the flight, you're also hearing Space Station Commander Butch Wilmore uh, referencing that he grabbed a couple of photos of the uh, Soyuz launch uh, out the windows of the space station, which is, uh, the crew is feeling well. Everything just about 1,800 miles out in front of the Soyuz to begin as the Soyuz begins its chase to the station, seven minutes, 25 seconds into the flight and everything stable. The Soyuz is now traveling uh, almost 13,500 miles per hour. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz and the crew to orbit, and a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed executed to prepare the spacecraft for orbital operations. Eight minutes into the flight, about 45... Eight minutes into the flight, about 45 seconds remaining in powered flight for the Soyuz. All has gone very smoothly with this afternoon's ascent uh, of the Soyuz TMA-15M spacecraft to orbit. The stored commands uh, that are known as time-tagged commands allow many of the Soyuz's systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times. The crew is feeling well. Copy. Eight minutes, 30 seconds, orbital velocity. We're standing by to get a confirmation of main engine cutoff. Control nominal. 520 seconds. Everything nominal. Five hundred thirty seconds. And we have confirmation of uh, third stage engine shutdown. Snowman now floating inside the Soyuz TMA 15M spacecraft. 
signifying uh, the crew is now in zero gravity. 143 miles by 118 mile elliptical orbit. I see you. Do you copy? And we have confirmation that the solar rays have deployed, as have all of the other systems of the spacecraft, as part of those uh, uh, time tagged commands. Expedition 42, three new crew members now in orbit, joining uh, the three crew members aboard the International Space Station. They uh, are now on a chase to catch up with the station. A whole series of rendezvous maneuvers will take place over the course of the next uh, six hours that will place the uh, Soyuz in close proximity to that of the International Space Station ahead of the docking uh, later this evening. And I'm working for page 34, and you can close uh, all airflow regulators, RPV. All of the control of the spacecraft now transitions to the Russian Mission Control Center you see there in Korolyov, uh, just outside the city limits of Moscow.